In yet another diplomatic triumph of the Modi government, Qatar released the eight Indian Navy veterans who were sentenced to death for espionage. Upon reaching India, they thanked PM Modi and the government of India's efforts to ensure their safe return. <laughs> Without, without the intervention of Prime Minister Modi, it won't be. However, this is not the first time that the Modi government has come to the rescue of Indians in crisis. In 2015, India launched Operation Rahat to evacuate 5,600 stranded Indians and other foreign nationals from war-torn Yemen. India carried out Operation Maitri following the devastating earthquake in Nepal, rescuing over 5,000 Indians. In 2016, India evacuated 242 Indians, including 28 crew members, from Brussels after terrorist strikes hit the city. During the pandemic, India launched the Vande Bharat mission, one of the largest civilian repatriation exercises in recent history, facilitating over 2.17 lakh flights and travel of over 1.83 crore passengers, including Indians and other foreign nationals. In 2021, India carried out Operation Devi Shakti to evacuate around 500 Indians and over 200 Afghan nationals, including those from minority communities from Kabul after the Taliban took over the city following the withdrawal of US troops. In 2022, India launched Operation Ganga to evacuate almost 20,000 nationals, mostly students from Ukraine. In April-May 2023, Operation Kaveri was launched through which 3,961 Indian nationals and 136 foreign nationals were evacuated from Sudan. No matter what, whenever and wherever an Indian is in crisis in any part of the world, they feel assured that the Modi government has got their back.